Hi guys, it's uh, Shahzeb Afridi from Game Logics, and this is part four of our game uh, Ludo Ludo game. This is part four of our Ludo game. Okay, so previously what we had done is basically we have created a canvas for our uh, game, and we have added uh, some buttons for uh, two player, three player, and four player, and a quiet button and uh, text. Uh, of Ludo so in this tutorial what I am going to do is simply add an effect to our uh, Ludo text okay and you will see which kind of uh, effect that will be uh, so and yeah I have uh, added some plugins uh, okay some plugins in our project and you don't worry about that because uh, the link to the the link to the complete project is uh, provided in the first uh, video of this series okay so you can check that out okay so all the things are available there so you can use uh, these things from there okay so in this tutorial let me add the i twin event okay so it's this is uh, this is uh, an i twin okay like uh, it's a plugin okay very helpful for uh, a kind of uh, you can say board games where uh, it controls our movements and it uh, can uh, add some special kind of effects to our uh, you can say the player stones or whatever you want to call them okay so let me uncheck this show icon in scene and play automatically it's okay and let me change it to move by okay so it will be moved by and time is going to be one second and the speed is going to be 50 now you will see the effect okay and I want this text to move in y axis, okay, along y axis. And the east type is going to be linear, and the loop type is going to be ping pong, okay. So now we have uh, added our effect, and uh, let me add an audio source to our main camera so that we can hear uh, the sound of our uh, sound manager okay so audio source yes audio source and uh, the clip is uh, going to be our uh, gameplay notes okay And it should be a loop as well so let's save it and uh, let's play it for a while to check that whether it's working or not As you can see, the sound is working but the text is uh, the text should move like up and down I don't know why it's not working yeah I think we yeah we should provide the value to the y-axis and now let's see if it works <laughs> So let's make it five and see. So now you can see that uh, it was uh, working. Okay. So you saw it, it worked. And uh, the other thing that I want to do is 
let me make the volume a little bit low so you can hear me okay, so now you can see the effect okay clearly and it's a clear effect okay so yeah it's you can adjust the volume however you want okay so now uh, let's uh, let me create another scene because our uh, main uh, scene main menu scene is uh, done and I should have named it uh, main menu can we change it or not I think we can and uh, how let me show you so let's rename it here and I think it will work did it work or not I think it did let me check everything is intact and the volume is again high and, and y is again zero so let me make it five and everything is cool now so let me uh, delete this main scene because we don't need it so I think everything should work yeah it's working okay so now let's uh, attach uh, script to our buttons it's going to be our main menu and the function it should have is it's a two player button so it should have a two player button function okay it should call two player button function and this should have oh first yeah so the object is going to be oh what main menu manager okay sorry for this main menu manager and the function is going to be three player and for four player going to be main menu as well and the function is going to be four player button here okay and for the quiet it's going to be main menu manager the function is going to be quiet okay so we done and let me save it and uh, let's create another scene okay so new scene and let me name it Ludo and it's going to be in the new scenes folder and it's going to be Ludo or you can name it gameplay or whatever you want okay so what we are going to do now let me save it and what we are going to do is uh, simply check uh, to see that if our buttons are uh, properly working or not because we have already done the scripting part for this thing okay so uh, what it will do it will simply switch to another scene yeah so this is the coding part this is the code and we have already written this code okay so it will take us to a uh, scene ludo okay so this name and the scene name should be exactly the same okay otherwise it uh, it will create problems okay so yeah and uh, let's see that uh, if it works or not okay 
so now mm, we have attached uh, the script to our buttons and uh, let me check it okay oh yeah i forgot something why it didn't work because what you should do is first we should add our scene in the build settings okay so this is our first scene and it has an index zero you can call them by indexes as well okay so maybe i will show you this thing in some point oh what the hell am i doing so this is our second scene and we are done here okay so now it will work okay and you can see we have switched to our uh, ludo scene okay so yeah it is working and let me show you the, uh, the other two buttons are just one so it's working okay so it's working and let me check the quiet button that whether that works or not so that button is also working very well so i think that for this video it's enough and this is it for this tutorial and if you really liked this video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next tutorial